All right guys, welcome back. Uh, we've got uh, the little Hondu here ready to go. Um, I went ahead this morning, had some time, had to kind of stick around here while we'll, uh, giving Josh a hand and uh, got things all cleaned up on this thing. You know, all the parts that we're gonna have to put back on, the valve covers and, uh, you know, the intake I removed but didn't have to, that old story. Uh, just went through, uh, stripped the head down uh, so we can take it to the machine shop, pulled the rocker arms off it, pulled the cam out of it, um, you know, stuff like that. Brian's Mobile One actually does a great video on what a machine shop expects when you're taking a head in or, you know, good, I guess just common courtesy, I guess like for lack of a better term, of what, uh, you know, a mechanic or, you know, DIY or anybody taking a head into a machine shop should do. So I'll link to that video. Uh, I, th I think a lot of you guys might find some of that useful because a lot of people don't know that uh, you know, when you pull ahead and take it in, you know, you should, you know, pull your rocker arms and your cams and uh, depending on the head configuration, uh, you know, what you got to take off, you know, your, you know, your cam sensors and your brackets and bolts and dowel pins, anything you don't want to lose. Uh, not saying that machine shop guys will lose stuff, but, you know, their job is to do, you know, the valves and pressure test and, you know, check for cracks and resurface if necessary. So they don't want to be, you know, messing around with all this trinkety stuff that could be falling off and getting in their way. So that's uh, my experience. Um, I still don't know what has happened to this valve. Uh, I would probably feel better if, if the, you know, our guy takes it out and sees that it's actually not true. Uh, you know, that it's actually bent and then that hung open and then that's what caused the carbon buildup. You know, I don't know. Uh, I sure would like to find a definitive answer that we can, you know, put our little finger on and uh, see what it is. Um, or at least a good educated guess. And that's that. So I'll give you a quick tool, uh, yeah, quick tool, a quick tour around of where we're at. Like I say, all the parts are all cleaned up. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. You know, the valve cover and the intake I didn't have to remove. And uh, just kind of went through and got things ready to go back together. So I'll give you that and then we'll head up to the machine shop. I don't know if he's going to allow the camera in there. Uh, we'll give it a go. So there's our head. That's, you know, obviously stripped down with the uh, cam out of it, rocker arms, extra stuff, all gone. We've got our valve seals ready to go. I've got to take our valves with us just in case uh, we need those. Got everything in here all kind of just wiped down and cleaned up and ready to go. Uh, took a suction gun and, and sucked all the antifreeze out there around the water jackets and you know, just, you know, just getting things prepped. Uh, you know, wiped off the head surface, didn't have to do anything really aggressive there. Just used our uh, carbide scraper and scraped off the intake and vacuumed all that out. Uh, same thing with that water uh, crossover pipe there too. Just took and scraped that off, made sure that's ready. Oh, cleaned off our mating surface up here on the intake. Same thing on the bottom of the intake. Uh, it's really not, not much else. This is a pretty, pretty clean, straightforward job. Uh, we've got all our components out here. We've got our big thump stick, our VTEC cam. Uh, got our rocker arm, cam sprocket, our intake manifolds, plural. Uh, spacer here for the plenum, and our valve cover, and then the uh, upper plenum cover. Cover. How's that? Look. An ice cream store. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Now we can travel. Well, we're almost there. Ice cream's gone. We're just about to officially leave civilization as we know it. Like I say, the town that this place is in uh, is the town of Woodhall. Uh, it's a back hills uh, community for sure. Kind of off the uh, beaten path, we'll call it.
arriving at 2434 County Route 102 on the left. So he was commenting here that uh, in order to vacuum test these exhaust valves, you can't really do it because uh, there's just one exhaust port. Uh, we naturally, you know, obviously you guys seen earlier in the video that that valve was leaking, but if you just put a vacuum here, it's not going to tell them any more than what we already know. So we're going to take and uh, pop that valve out. I assume, is that what you're doing, Wesley? Yes. Yeah, we're going to take and pop that valve out and we're going to have a look and that's going to give us the answer. Uh, hopefully, that's the, what happened here. So this is an air float table, so when he pushes on that button, or pushes on the foot pedal, uh, air comes up through and allows him to move this uh, table that he's actually got the head on um, and what he's going to do is uh, use this machine here to push down on the uh, uh, spring and uh, remove the retainers hopefully they're so tiny it's uh, you know using a, a machine like this makes it a lot easier get that sucker loose and get the valve keepers out of there Oh yeah. <laughs> so is there evidence on that valve that it was uh, leaking? We'll know. Oh, we'll know here in a minute. Nothing bent. It is bent. Okay, and you can see. Uh, let's see where did where did you see the uh, uh, play in that exact or the uh, out of round? You can just see it when you spin the stem. You can see it in the head of the valve or in the face of the valve. Right? Go up and down. Zoom in on it. Let's take a look at that. All right. I can clean it and make it uh, more visible. Oh, okay. So, like, if you touched it on your, uh, oh, I, oh, as far as getting the carbon off it, you're saying? Yeah. I see. These over sandblasting off our valve. So here's our valve spring that he took off, and then we've got the. Uh, Retainer, the valve keepers right here, the little tiny suckers. As soon as he gets that cleaned off, we're going to stick it back in the uh, valve grinder and get a closer look at it. It's not bent that much. Hmm. A little deceiving how it was. Uh... Well. <laughs> it's got a very small amount because you can hear it. Oh, okay. So 
So in, in your experience, when you turn them and they're nice and straight, you get a nice even sound on your valve grinder? Yes. That's actually more than one. Both of these are more than that third one I took. Oh, really? Okay. So what we just did over there is we took our two, so these are both the exhaust valves on a leaky cylinder, and you can see the, you know, the heavy amounts of uh, carbon on that valve. And uh, we just compared it to a, you know, a good cylinder to see what the spring spring tension was, make sure it's nothing to do with uh, any kind of spring pressure. And uh, this here is a, uh, this is the valve out of a, it's exhaust valve. Uh, yeah, exhaust valve out of a good cylinder, out of a non-leaking one. So you can kind of see the see the difference there. You can start getting that carbon build up on the seat. What we're trying to determine is, you know, like we mentioned earlier in the video, is what came first, chicken or the egg? Um, you know, did it did the carbon build up as a result of a uh, you know a piece in there leaking? Was this you know stem slightly bent? You know, making it start leaking. Um, you know, it's hard to hard to say at this point. Uh, Checking, uh, you know, I'm going to check the guides for wear and, and stuff like that, but that's kind of where we're at with it right now. Intakes feel a little tighter? Yeah, they're a little tighter than the exhaust. Yeah, just by feel. Got a good seat all the way around on it. Yep. Hmm. Definitely a little different story than the exhaust. Yes. Now, have you ever seen with these uh, thin-stemmed valves? You know, let's say if I oh, can they can they bend and almost re-straighten to a certain mm. degree, or do they have, not have enough spring pressure for that? No, no, no. These things, these things are a lot stronger than you might think. They're, okay. They're basically, I've seen them come in here bent right off on a ninety. Yeah. And still not broke. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, I, yeah, I didn't know if there was a, a little bit of flex to them or what, what the story was there. Okay, right, so the verdict is uh, we're going to get valve guides for it. Uh, the exhaust valve guides are quite loose. You don't even really have to measure them. Uh, just sticking the valve uh, in the guide and moving around. There is a lot of play, and usually your uh, valve to guide clearance is, what, what is it usually, what's it, a thousandth of an inch? Yeah, thousands, yeah, thousands. yeah, thousands, thousands and a half. Uh, so if you can stick a valve in, you know, even a new valve, in, and uh, you know, you can just—it's got a fair amount of slop in it. Uh, so we pulled some of the valve seals off. Um, still trying to discover a little bit where the, you know, the oil could have been coming from. Uh, you know, as you, as you guys have already seen, of course, he hasn't seen it. The uh, pistons, you know, were quite clean or evenly clean. Uh, so we're assuming some oils coming past the guide perhaps um, Stuff like that. So we're gonna we're gonna leave the head here. We're gonna let him go through. He's gonna clean up the, uh, the valve seats uh, We're gonna take and uh, you know touch up the valves on it. Well, we got it here So kind of an odd circumstance uh, You know to see this so These are some of the intake valves out of it got a good good clean uh, valve seat on those so we're gonna leave them. Might be a little nervous on camera, you know, under pressure. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we'll leave it. We're gonna let them go through it. We're gonna get some actual, you know, some real measurements and, you know, get some real measurements for the spring pressure, see what they're supposed to be. Uh, so far, we the only checks we've done is, are just relative checks uh, to see how they are relative to each other, you know, spring pressure relative to the, you know, the suspect good spring, you know, checking the guide relative to. Uh, another guide So it's time to get uh, nitty-gritty get some real uh, real specs and do some real checks and, uh, But you know you get a guy with this kind of experience, you know, you just feel those guides and you can tell they're loose uh, looser than they should be so uh, stay tuned and we will uh, Post up some more when we get this head back So here's another project he's got going on here. This is a Deutsch uh, air-cooled diesel or oil cooled rather so these cooling jackets around the sleeves are actually filled with oil and uh, that's how it cools this engine uh, this one got a little bit toasty 
And uh, here's the here's the piston out of that little guy. So it's got a little scuffed. So he's checking it there to see if the uh, head is flat. You know, see if we're going to need to resurface it. I'm going at it in a few spots with a feeler gauge. It seemed pretty good there. Yep. Alright guys, Google Plus, Facebook, check us out there, subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Hope you like the little tour uh, we just did along the machine shop. Although it was a small tour, I didn't want to feel too, I didn't want to overstay my welcome. Uh, Wesley always treats me pretty good, he's one that does all of our Subaru heads, uh, actually he does all our heads. Uh, the only thing I don't have them do is our flywheels because I just have them done uh, local uh, at Napa. Just drop them off there and that's about the uh, max capacity uh, for those guys. So uh, he does all my other work, crankshafts, uh, you know, balancing, any, any, anything like that. He does a fantastic job. So uh, I felt a little bad about putting him, put him under pressure of the camera. Uh, I said he just turned 74 uh, the other day and uh, was thinking about retiring. And that's going to be a sad day for me. Um, I've always uh, enjoyed him and his work and what he does and I've never had any comebacks uh, from him at all so uh, that in and of itself speaks a lot uh, I always trust him judgment uh, on any of the head work we have done over there or wh whatever it is we have to have done um, the guy's been doing it longer than I've been alive so uh, those are the kind of people we like to look for um, I think uh, experience uh, doesn't cost it pays and I think that's a true statement so Anyhow, Facebook, Google+, Plus, all that business. Check us out. Subscribe to our channel. I don't know why you haven't done that yet. But you should, and uh, you'll be awesome. I guarantee it. Well, that's really not true, but you should still subscribe anyhow, uh, just in case. And uh, just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.